Welcome to The Digital's Growthcast. I'm Jason, and I'm joined today by members of our sales and marketing teams to talk through how to get the most out of your CRM. Today on the podcast, we have Carrie Rosemond, our VP of Operations, Digital Strategist, Grayson Festberman, and Christopher Lara, our Boston Branch Manager. Today, we're gonna to talk about customer relationship management, using HubSpot as a CRM tool, and some of the benefits and features HubSpot brings to the table. All right, Grayson, so what is customer relationship management? Yeah, so customer relationship management is also called CRM, and it is a technology for managing all of your company's relationships and interactions with customers and potential customers. Um, it helps, it's a, it's a system that helps companies stay connected to customers and also streamlines your processes and improves profitability profitability. And our CRM at the digital is HubSpot. Uh, we're also a HubSpot partner. So that's what we use every day. Um, and uh, I think Christopher Grayson and I are in HubSpot just about every day. Yeah, I'm in there a lot. Um, I know for me, it helps me with all the follow-up communications. Um, sometimes Grayson might have taken a call and, and put in some notes and I follow up on it um, or vice versa. Um, email sequencing, it, we use heavily um, probably in our day to day. Um, in our sales workflow, um, as the project kind of moves through our, our sales funnel, um, it gets updated in HubSpot, which is really great. Um, I know we've done chatbot integration as well. So sometimes when people use our chatbot on our website, it, syncs up with the appropriate contact in HubSpot, um, lead rep assignment and uh, lead nurturing are all different ways we use HubSpot. Yeah, absolutely. As well as reporting and planning out our days. Um, I personally really love the task manager function of it. It just really, like Christopher said, helps with nurturing leads, but also those leads that you may have to nurture on a longer um, game plan, you know, maybe if you're saving it for Q1, three or four, just really helps you make sure that you are staying on top of those relationships and getting them through the sales funnel. Um, also great for communication tool, really lets us see, you know, who is interacting with the debt, the digital and all of the tracking information that goes along with that. So we're able to really closely track our leads and also keep the, com keep the conversation and communication going with people who have come to us. I think it's also helpful um, on the operations side um, and the customer experience. So if we, we have a complaint or a concern from a client, um, I can hop into HubSpot and look at the history uh, because we have HubSpot connected to our Gmail and um, I guess it's just our Gmail. And so we can see, you know, all of the communication through the lifetime of their engagement with us and see if, you know, they changed marketing managers or if they contacted us multiple times or whatever, you know, if we drop the ball, we're able to see what happened before we get on the call and so that we're prepared you know to take care of um, any issues that may have come up um, i also like that it integrates with proposify which is what we use for our um, agreements and we have a workflow so that when someone um, when someone signs an agreement it automatically changes the status in hubspot and then um, it sends a notice to our office manager to send them the invoice. And then once the invoice is paid, we can change it to closed one. So that really, you know, helps our workflow and everybody gets notified and we don't um, forget about anybody. Keeps us organized. Yeah, I feel like it really helps me with managing my day. Um, so, you know, I might have a to-do list in HubSpot. Um, I might have to call certain people um, on a given day. And uh, after I call them, besides the call being recorded within HubSpot, I can check it off. I did this. Um, might have to set up a to-do for three months from now to follow up with someone. Um, and it's just 
it's nice having one central repository um, that's tied to you know specific contacts or projects that I can just reference. Oh, another thing that's nice is it um, integrates with Slack. So anytime uh, someone prepares an agreement, they can mention me in HubSpot and I get a Slack that says so-and-so mentioned you and it has a link so I can hop right into HubSpot. Um, that's been really helpful, that integration. And then also from a prospecting um, you can create target lists and accounts that maybe you really want to uh, win business from. We do that over here on the sales side of things, you know, making sure that we're setting company goals and standards and HubSpot really allows us to track and see where we're at with those goals. So really getting contact information and having all of that valuable information stored in one place. Um, more times than often when we're prospecting, they actually reach out to us six or nine months down the road because they remember the, di the, the digital name or um, an email that we sent. So it's a really great prospecting tool as well. And I think that's what I use it for the most. Yeah, and I think that's also what um, we help set up our customers to use it for a lot um, when it comes to prospecting and email sequences. Um, I know that's a lot of what we, or certain emails going out when certain triggers are met. For example, maybe when someone visits a website for the second time or visits a certain page, um, you know, our marketing department might uh, have our clients, uh, have an email triggered for our clients that reaches out to that prospect. What are some of the key benefits of using HubSpot, let's say, versus another CRM tool? There's obviously a lot of different options out there. What does HubSpot do that maybe others can't? Uh, I'll say I think HubSpot um, brings experience and resources to the table. Um, they're not a maybe less well-funded company um, when it comes to the CRM market. They're well-funded. They've been doing this for a long time. Um, I really feel like they're experts in the field. And when you speak to them or when you encounter a problem, um, they really know what's going on. Um, there's a lot of integrations that some of uh, other CRMs might not have as many C integrations. Um, so I think that's one of the ways, one of the reasons why um, we pick them and, and we've worked with a few CRMs. Yeah, I think the only other one I've used was Salesforce. And um, at the time, Salesforce didn't have a marketing hub. I, I believe it does now, but um, you know, I like that HubSpot has it has the CRM, but it also has the marketing hub. It has a service hub. If you are a service-based business, you can do ticketing right through HubSpot. They also have a free plan um, to get people started, um, which is really nice. You kind of just, um, I know, you know, I've used the free plan um, and found it really helpful. Um, you know, I'm not tracking your emails, Carrie or Grayson, but, but, but uh, you know, there's some people that, you know, I, I might have a business relationship with um, that I track their emails and it's just helpful. I also really like um, how it can integrate with your WordPress website. So, you know, before you get on a call with a prospect, you can see what pages they've looked at on your website and get an idea of what they might be interested in. So you're prepared you know, with examples. Yeah, I would definitely say the tracking information that comes along with HubSpot is really, really attractive for us because that's what we do is looking, tracking and data all day, but also for our customers, they really like being able to see what was the first page that a, you know, um, a contact landed on or even what was the last page and, you know, how many calls and things like that. So um, the tracking information is always up to date and they keep it up to date. Let's talk about uh, data cleanliness, uh, cleaning up data in CRM systems and how HubSpot kind of makes it a little bit easier, it sounds like, than maybe other CRMs. <laughs> Grayson like might disagree I, with that. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I was going to say, I think Grayson probably knows like how to answer this question better than any of us. Um, she's always in there. I, I'm horrendous at cle keeping my HubSpot clean um, and updated and uh, Grayson will often chastise me. 
I don't mind because it's just us. Um, <laughs> but if it was an entire team of people, then yeah, I would be uh, making a bigger stink for sure. But no, I mean, mm, I don't know. That threw me off. What was the question? <laughs> yeah, just like uh, clean, cleaning up data, maybe like. Because you can like get rid of duplicates. Yeah, so the HubSpot has um, an automatic duplication um, feature. So it will, I think, once a week run and send us a report. Hey, we found 29 duplications. And then, um, you know, it's its own screen and we can act on those duplications. We can maybe, um, typically, I think they're merged into one contact. Um, you know, we, we never really delete anything. Um, sometimes a customer might call us from a different phone number um, than they've used previously. Um, and we can, you know, merge that new contact into an existing um, customer. Um, and as HubSpot kind of learns more about the customer, like what emails are associated with them, um, you know, it, it does a pretty good job keeping it all you know, contained to one, um, one entry. Yeah, absolutely. And you can just off of that with you constantly inputting and updating data into HubSpot, um, like Christopher said, it is storing that information. So it starts picking up, especially if you have a LinkedIn integration up there, their LinkedIn URL will pop up with the company contact record. So those additional things where as you're prospecting or maybe someone is interviewing your company and looking for services, it's just really important that you have all of the pieces of the puzzle. And that's what HubSpot really tries to do for you is to try to give you as many pieces of the information to help you move that customer through the life cycle and to the next stage of business. Um, what about any kind of sort of lesser known tips or tricks in HubSpot that, you know, maybe uh, a layman's user wouldn't have, wouldn't know about necessarily kind of something you guys have figured out that really helps you in your day to day? I think um, something that you pointed out to us um, not that long ago um, that kind of just oblivious and uh, never really clicked off, clicked through. Um, but on our main activity screen for contact, you can now uh, filter by different activities. So some activities weren't checked off. Um, so maybe someone act, interacted with um, Mailchimp uh, campaign, and uh, I, I, we I wouldn't necessarily have seen that if I had it marked off on my activities filter. Um, so that's something to to look at because as you integrate more. Um, third-party um, software into HubSpot, um, you know, you might not be seeing those activities necessarily. Yeah, so I, I think we, did we touch on, I think we touched on most of our integrations, but I mean, that's one of the nice things about HubSpot is it integrates with just almost everything. Um, so QuickBooks, we can see invoices that went out to a customer from QuickBooks. We can see phone calls from JustCall which is our voice over IP provider. Um, Slack, you can turn your notifications to inform you on Slack. Uh, Gmail has a HubSpot connector. Google Calendar. I think one of the big ones that um, is really nice to see is the PPC integration from like Google ad, ad, um, account, uh, ad campaigns that we run. Um, and it, you know, sometimes we'll get a lead um, and they might not be qualified, but, um, you know, because it's we market as qualified, unqualified within HubSpot, it really helps us hone in on what campaigns are working and what campaigns might not be working. Yeah. And um, one thing that I do want to mention is that, you know, HubSpot, like Christopher said earlier, has the is kind of known as the CRM experts in their industry. So they actually have an entire knowledge base called HubSpot Academy that has a ton of resources. Um, I know everyone on our team that's on the marketing team takes the HubSpot marketing certification. Christopher and I, we've taken the sales and it's just a ton of additional of free resources that really breaks down every piece of the marketing and sales cycle and funnels and how those two work together. Um, so that is a really big tip and trick. I mean, I've been working with HubSpot for four years now, and I still go to the HubSpot Academy page because they're always on the latest trends of 
prospecting or closing more deals or how to, um, you know, bring in more business from a landing page or a contact form. People are now doing webinars and doing video marketing all through HubSpot. So it's a ton of information. So utilizing a CRM that has all of these different features, as well as, you know, partnering with an agency, a lot of clients really like that consultative approach. So it's been a really great match for 90% of our clients. I think it also fits, uh, just like if anyone's not sure, I think it fits a lot of different um, use cases. So um, from, you know, solopreneur to small teams to enterprise organizations, um, I think HubSpot, you know, can work across the boards for those companies. I think the CRM is free always, right? Or is it only free up to a certain amount of contacts? I don't remember. There, it's free um, always, but there are certain features you only get you know, when you start paying. And I think the smallest plan starts at $50. Um, and then you are limited to a certain amount of contacts on a paid plan. Well, I shouldn't say you're limited. You can always pay. You know, There's a additional fees you would pay. Yeah. But the uh, email, like the drip campaigns, the social media posting, um, all of that is in the marketing hub, which is another, which is an additional cost. Nice. Well, that's all the questions I have. Anything we didn't cover that we want to talk through? Um, I, I would just throw out there that um, we at the digital are HubSpot um, partners. We have a lot of experience um, setting up clients in HubSpot. Um, we have a team um, of marketers who, you know, are use it all day long. And if there's any companies out there that might be listening and want to jump in the chat, um, feel free to reach out. And that'll do it for this episode of the Digital's Growth Cast. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of HubSpot as a CRM tool. We hope you've gained some insights into how HubSpot can transform your sales efforts. Thank you to our HubSpot experts and guests on this episode, Christopher, Grayson, and Carrie for joining us today. If you're ready to take the next step in implementing a powerful CRM solution for your business, we invite you to collaborate with us. The Digital is a certified HubSpot agency, as Christopher said, and we're here to guide you on your CRM journey. To kickstart the process, simply visit thedigital.com. Thanks for listening.